Hello rhinos! Do you want to control your type 2 diabetes without taking medication? And this is a video for you. Let's get into it. Why am I qualified to talk about this? Well, my name is John Collett and in March 2018, I got diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and within six months, I managed to reverse my condition naturally and I want to help you do the same. So can you control your type 2 diabetes without medication? Really, this should be titled how I control my type 2 diabetes without medication because the answer is yes but I want to put a disclaimer in behind that yes and that yes is that I am not telling you to come off your medication right now you come off the medication when your doctor tells you it's okay for you to come off the medication but it is perfectly feasible for you to be able to control your type 2 diabetes without taking medication and let me explain to you how I did it. The first thing I did was I decided to eat real food. Note, I didn't say go on a diet, okay? I didn't follow a low carb diet, I didn't follow a ketogenic diet and I didn't follow a plant-based diet and I didn't go on a low calorie diet. I ate real food. If it grows out the ground, swims in the sea, or walks on all four, or walks on the ground, then I eat that food, real food. Now there are some foods that I avoid, like white starchy foods, like pasta, potatoes, rice, and fruit, bananas. I avoid these things. But other than that, I eat real food. The biggest mistake I see people make when they come and book a call to join our coaching program called Reversing Type 2 Diabetes is that they're all, they, they think they're already changed the diet that they're on and they're eating, they're eating real food but they're on a low calorie diet, they're not eating enough calories and as a result, as a result they're really tired constantly and I would say that's a big mistake. Eat real food. That's how you should get started. At the end of the day, all our type 2 diabetes or what we call insulin resistance, it's all down to you tailored. So for me to say to you, you can't eat fruit. Well, I don't know that you can't eat fruit. You might be able to eat fruit. I can and I know many other people who can. And all the people who've come through my program have all ate fruit and they've all reversed their type 2 diabetes. But there are some type 2 diabetics out there where eating fruit is, is just a no-no. Um, but to get yourself started, what you want to do is just eat real food and make sure you're eating the right amount of calories for you. The reality is you're going to really struggle to eat the right amount of calories anyway. Because I promise you, <laughs> the number of calories you've got to eat so is, that, is around about 1,800 for a man and about 1,600 for a woman. That's a lot of food for real food. Okay. <laughs> And this takes me on to the second thing, is don't snack in between meals. Now the reality is, if you're eating real food, you're going to struggle to want to snack in between meals anyway. Normally your snacking will be caused through a habit that you have, an old habit that you're doing, which means that you keep on going to the kitchen to get food because you're just used to doing it. And what you've got to do is get used to your saying to yourself, really, I'm asking yourself this question is, Am I really hungry? Um, you, you can even put a sign up on the fridge if you want saying, am I hungry? You know, <laughs> so it's, uh, you know, it's a good question to ask yourself, you know, but the reality is you, you won't want a snack, but you need to avoid snacking in between meals. And the reason for this is you need to let your blood sugar come down from the food that you've ate at breakfast, lunch or tea. Okay. Now, if you are going to snack, what I recommend is that you either eat a handful of nuts or you eat a piece of fruit, okay? Because they don't spike your blood sugar and they'll release the energy slowly. 
But then the next one, and that's the, the third tip for um, managing your type 2 diabetes without taking medication, and that's drink a lot of water. A lot of the time when we feel hungry, what we actually are, we're dehydrated, okay? And so I do recommend that you drink about two liters of water a day, especially when you wake up first thing in the morning. When you wake up, get yourself one of these, okay? <laughs> because it's a pint of water, or you, but you wanna, you wanna start the day with water. Now you can stick lemon or lime in there, um, but you know, the way you're gonna look at this is 70% of your body is made up of water. So keeping yourself hydrated is really important. And like I said, a lot of the times when you think you're hungry, you're not hungry, you're dehydrated. And by drinking water, that hunger pain goes away. Now, my fourth tip for you is you're gonna have to exercise, okay? Yet again, a lot of people come to me uh, when they, as part of my program, and they say, oh, well, I do exercise. I, I go walking, okay? And walking is better than doing nothing, I'll stress. But I tend to find that it's not enough. What you need to do is, an ex first of all, you need to do an exercise you love, all right? It's really important that you do an exercise you love because then, especially if you can be part of a bigger community, of people because you're more likely to do it and turn up to it but secondly it has to be something that's going to make you sweat and i recommend that you do three to four uh three to four sessions every week of exercise 30 to 40 minutes and do an exercise that really gets you sweating so if you love walking that's fine just go walk faster right <laughs> so at least you sweat and this is really going to help you with your type 2 diabetes. I'm not going to go into it in this video. I'm going to stick a video there, which you can click on, which is going to talk to you all about the benefits of exercise as a type 2 diabetic. And the next thing is when it comes to exercise is ease yourself in, okay? Don't, don't go out there, go down the gym and bang it out, okay? Because all that'll happen is you'll end up in a lot of pain. Um, and when you're in a lot of pain, then you will stop doing it because you associate pain to doing it. Now, my exercise that I do is um, DDP yoga, okay? And I'll put a link to his website below. I don't get paid for you going there, okay? <laughs> and uh, you get an app. But, or if you want, you can join our Facebook group, Charging Down Type 2 Diabetes, and I'll put a link for that below as well. In there, you can find out all about the classes that I teach every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evening, 7 p.m. GMT time. If you want to join in those classes, you can. And my final tip for managing your type 2 diabetes without medication is to take on a rhino mindset, okay? <laughs> my favorite book in the world is a book called Rhinoceros Success by Scott Alexander. He talks about taking on the mindset of a 6,000 pound charging rhino with two inch thick skin. When you set a goal and you decide you want something, what is gonna stop a 6,000 pound charging rhino with two inch thick skin? Nothing can stop it. And that's why we have a, we have, that's why we have a saying within the type rhino community, and that is, you're not a number, you're a rhino, now charge. And it's all about that attitude, that attitude that when you make that decision, that you are going to reverse your type two diabetes, put it into remission, manage it without medication, call it whatever you want, but you charge down that goal to get your A1C down to a 5.2, so you can get off that medication, you can achieve anything you want as a 6,000 pound charging rhino. Now, if you wanna find out more about the things that we teach our clients of how to reverse their type two diabetes, yet again, there's another link down the bottom and take you to my website, stick your name and email address in there, and I will send you a video explaining the five things that our clients go through to reverse their type two diabetes so that they can manage their type two diabetes without medication. And hopefully I'll see you in the community uh, or maybe we'll have a conversation 
about you joining the group. I'm going to stick some videos there all about the foods that you can eat as a type 2 diabetic and another video there about how to make my favorite meal, courgette spaghetti. Just remember, you're not a number, you're a rhino. Now charge.